Hey, hi guys, it's David here again from One Step at a Time and today we're going to be talking about how to create a system repair disc on a USB. Um, I did a couple of days ago um, have a video on how to create a repair disc. Um, like I said before in that one, I think it's very important. So whether it's USB or DVD, it should be done anyway. So, But for those of you that like to boot up from USBs or don't have optical drives, um, this is a probably a handier way of doing it without getting the image burned and creating an ISO file and then using Rufus so um, I found this little bit of software works great but I'm just going to run through a few things so um, I'll try not to drag it out too long so first step is I'll leave a link in the description we want to go here to it's Windows to USB Lite and you want to click on the download but before we download it I'm just going to say that it says here in a little warning that it's ad supported which means that it'll want to change a browser and I'll click on it just to show you what happens as to pay attention while installing Windows to USB Lite for the following reasons offers to change the home page web browser install system um, it'll do these things obviously I suppose because it's free software this is how they make their money but you still have the option not to go with this so I'm gonna quickly show you that when you click on the download it usually gives you terms but um, you can Pick, I'm going to pick the UK, It'll probably make it a lot faster for me because I'm in Ireland. So I'm going to click on that. In a few seconds, it should pop up. So then here is our little EAC file. So I'm just going to say save file. It should take a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to click on my downloads and then I'm going to run this. Now normally when you download this, I've downloaded it before you and you'll get a, a box that'll come up with like terms of service. But the first terms of service, you just um, just have a read through it. I usually press the skip button on the first option and then agree to the terms of service for the use of the Windows to USB light. So the first one comes up is to showing you that they want to change your browser, want to do all of those things. So don't... Um, don't agree to that and um, it's kind of done in the same way as the terms which is a little bit crafty and um, was one bit I didn't like but I don't tend to rush through the installing of these things I tend to just have a quick read to make sure I don't so the first one is normally that option so there's a skip on the left here and then on the right is the agree skip the first option go to the second one and the, the second one if you quickly read through the term it's for the terms of just the using of Windows to USB light so once you do you'll get this screen for your option in here and by default a folder to DVD is chosen and then it's looking for the source path now I have my Windows 7 repair disk and I'm just going to pop it into my DVD drive uh, once that's up and running I have my USB plugged in already so it's picking it up here it's a uh, 4 gigabyte USB and up here then I'm looking for uh, on my machine it's my F drive so I could type it in but if you want just click on the icon then go to your computer and then pick your DVD and then click OK and then it'll be your source is your F or whichever it is on your computer the target is USB if you plugged your USB in afterwards just click the refresh button and it'll pop up here and then just hit the start button And it's saying the necessary files, um, just forget about that, just say yes. Yes, that's fine. Uh, so this could take a little while, so what I'll do is I'll just pause it here and I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, it's finished creating uh, the windows, so I'm just going to say okay. And then I'm going to close it down. Now what I'm going to do is I'll pause it and I'm going to quickly run it through the boot and see if um, and check that everything works all right. Now, okay guys, I, I ran it through the boot system um, through the USB. I booted up through the USB and when I uh, it was allowing me to reinstall my Windows or repair, so it was allowing me to do whatever I wanted to do. So. Um, 
as far as I'm aware, it was working perfectly. The just not sure why it was given that warning that it was missing certain files, folders, and stuff. So, uh, worked fine. I uh, hope you liked the video, guys. If you do, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Good luck.